As the race for the Democratic nomination comes down to the wire, supporters for all the candidates are getting into the mix. NBC 11's Tracy Grant shows us how average folks are getting the vote out. You've seen them many times before. The sweeping anthems, the flags waving. Take action. Vote Hillary Clinton. These days, it seems as though political ads have taken over the airwaves. But VoterVoter.com asks, what if you could control the message and the images? Do you want change? The same old thing. There, there's a lot of people that, that um, have seen candidate ads that believe that they could have done a better job with that ad, or that they said, I really want my candidate to win and I want more people to see that ad. VoterVoter.com helps you with that. First, you have to go online and decide which candidate you support, when and where you want the ad to air, and what demographic you'd like to reach. We want to promote this ad to women um, 18 to 34. Then you can choose from ads already online or you can write your own text and tell voter voter staff what images you want to accompany it. The ads can be for or against the candidates. That we can make progress and close the gap. You're probably going to see 10 million Jeremiah Wright commercials around the world. <laughs> University of San Francisco political science professor James Taylor says while Voter Voter is clearly a profit-driven organization, the nonpartisan website is creating opportunities for the YouTube generation to communicate to a wider audience. This will allow candidates to sort of advertise on the cheap through those who support them around the country. Voter Voter can hire actors or find real voters to give testimonials about issues like health care. An ad can cost as little as $1,000, but as an individual, not part of a political action committee, you can spend as much as you want. If you want, you can go on Voter Voter, buy some airtime, and literally influence <coughs> millions of people. In San Francisco, Tracy Grant, NBC 11 News.